this unit is a Remy human hair wig by Shein. It's a 13 by 4. It has a pre-plucked natural hairline. Okay. Inside the box, you have your general care instructions to tell you how to care for the wig. Your bulk cap. Okay. And this wig is 200% density. And the color is ginger orange. And it is 20 inches. Oh my God. This hair is so soft. And it smells good, you guys. You know how sometimes you get a wig and it has that bleach fishy smell this wig does not do that it's super soft okay bouncy and inside of your wig um you have your standard four combs one in the front one in the back one on each side yeah i'm liking this so for this unit i did not um bleach the knots but i did pluck the edges um i just decided since the hair was already colored just put a little makeup on it and it would be perfectly fine which it is going to come out okay and so for the flexi rods i didn't use any specific measurements or sizes i just went ahead and sprayed like a spray or two of water on the hair wrapped it around the rods and then sealed the ends with some edge control and just locked the rod in As you can see, my ball cap is already done. I didn't do nothing special. I didn't put the stocking over my face and cut my eyes and my ears out, nothing like that. I just did the regular ball cap method. You just spray it like you normally would. Put your makeup on, cut off the excess lace, and install your unit. So let's get to it. So how y'all doing? I am so happy it's getting hot outside. Let's clean this with some alcohol. Woo! That was my hair dryer that almost broke my toe. I'm hoping my air, my hair dryer still works. let this dry for like 10 minutes because I use the liquid and it's kind of moist it's kind of wet I'm gonna spray this a little bit and just like really let it dry okay now I'm going to get my glue ready so I'm not gonna even tell y'all I'm low-key scared because I uh, put the rod curls in this wig and I did not cut the lace beforehand before I curled this. So now I'm scared because, you know, I got a little head. Look how little this head is. It is like a little peanut head. So I'm scared that when I put this unit on and I get ready to cut the lace, it's going to be probably about this much lace that has to come off. And I'm sure some of my curl might come off with it. And I don't know. So let's see. And I got it sized real good, y'all. Real good for this peanut. Let's see. Let me get a hold of it. Look how little these curls is. Wah. These we gonna make it work, baby. What I was afraid of that was gonna happen happened. So it didn't happen with that ear, but it happened with this one. So how can I fix this? I don't know. Since it's already curly, we go wrap it around our finger and we go blend it in since it's at the bottom.
very straight. They just so tight. So I basically got to remember not to wand curl these so tight. Because if you curl them too tight, they go come out looking like curly soup. But it's okay because I'm going to be honest, like when I do my wand curls, I don't like comb out. Like the next day when I get up after I uh, untie my hair, I just leave it like that. I don't even comb it. I just, you know, just do it just like that. And that's basically it. And I wear it like that for a week. After about three days, it get like a little bit bedhead and it turns sexy as fuck. I'm not going to lie. But yeah. Okay. So this is what orange looks like.